What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Equalia Espresso and welcome to today's video. Now, today we've got some more advanced warfare information for you guys. What we've got on our plate today is some more information that Game Informer dropped. It's relating to a ton of the future tech, but at the same time it's just enough to be classified as a teaser and I'm really hyped about it. But before we get too far into the video, I just want to say that if you guys pre-ordered Advanced Warfare already from GameStop, the Advanced Warfare poster is now available to be picked up. So just go, show them your receipt and walk out with a brand new poster. I'm going to be doing that here sometime shortly. but Back on topic, yesterday Game Informer dropped some new info regarding Advanced Warfare and this info detailed a bunch of the new tech that we're going to be seeing in Advanced Warfare. Now for those of you guys that wanted change after reading this, there's no way you'll have room to complain about needing change. Sledgehammer is making a conscious effort to redefine creativity in the franchise and I absolutely love it. Now the five big things that we got a look at were the hover bike, 3D printing, the plasma powered rifle, exosuits, and tanks and aircraft. So apart from the exoskeleton suits, which we've already looked at in depth we have a ton of stuff to talk about here stuff which I'm super excited to elaborate on so let's start off with the hover bikes we saw these in the reveal trailer and it's most likely from the level that Game Informer later went on to release details on in which we are fleeing from the ruins of downtown Detroit in an attempt to get free what we also were presented with was the blueprint of the design it had some really cool stuff and it pretty much detailed the future tech that is actually pretty plausible by this time period but one of the things that caught my eye and can lead in some more info on the tech was when the blueprint explained the hover mechanism and I quote using the exact same hover tech as the hover mega tank a hover mega tank that sounds extremely badass we don't have anything on this yet and I haven't seen anybody really pick this out of the blueprints yet but I wanted to bring you guys it so that you guys were aware of what this may lead into next up we have the 3d printing rifle for those of you guys that don't know 3d printing is a new but not really new in theory but in terms of plausibility it's a new tech that is absolutely the future 3d printers are available now yet but they are extremely costly but they do exactly what they sound like they print anything in 3d so this could in theory revolutionize the way products are made I've seen stories on how they have printed everything from other 3d printers weapons even artificial body parts to improve living conditions so they are absolutely amazing and something I'm sure the future will be full of so how plausible is this as a weapon absolutely 100% plausible but focusing on the game again what game informer detailed was the ability players will have in terms of reloading again Again, I quote, players load in a canister of liquid matter and rack it by pulling back on the boat. Once securely housed, the internal computer begins printing ammunition on the spot. An absolutely amazing feature, and this will add so much more to reloading in terms of creativity and uniqueness. Whether or not it's specific to one gun or this is on all of them, it's definitely cool to see, and my guess is that this will definitely be transferred into multiplayer if it's on multiple weapons, and this is something that could definitely revolutionize what we think of reloading as in Call of Duty. I'm super excited to see how exactly this will take shape now moving along to our plasma powered rifle This is something that is extremely interest me And I'm really curious to see how they're going to use this without making the game into Call of Duty Halo warfare now Obviously, I'm joking. I'm one of the people who has said advanced warfare looks nothing alike to the games like Titanfall or Halo Or any of the other futuristic games, but I am quite interested in how this will pan out Why because it is something drastically different from what we're used to in a Call of Duty title game informer said they didn't see it in action so we can't really say too much on the subject But we have seen iterations of this in the reveal trailer where we saw the giant plasma cannon My guess is that it's going to be along the same lines as that with something like this coming into a traditional warfare based franchise It does run the risks though of rubbing people the wrong way Let's keep an open mind though now finally the last thing I want to talk to you guys about today is the tanks and aircraft I mentioned the hover tank a little bit earlier and that falls into this category But again, we have no information on it So there really isn't much to say other than to look out for it and to be pretty excited to see what exactly it is now the hover aircraft that's something a little bit different we do have a little bit more information regarding that and they utilize the same hover mechanics as the bikes and other tech they are vertically ascending aircraft which makes room for a lot more tighter maneuvers since there is no need for a runway and while the basic concepts of our armored birds are the same as today these futuristic versions are a lot more sophisticated in various ways but when more info comes out about them I'm sure there will be a lot to talk about so that is a brief rundown of what what Game Informer supplied us with yesterday in terms of advanced warfare information and if I did go a little bit fast for you guys I apologize I feel like I went back to my old auction yourself when commentating this where I talked a little bit fast so I do apologize for that but let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below are you guys excited for this what of this do you think is the coolest stuff that we got a look at so far that's been my time ladies and gentlemen thank you guys so much for watching if you did like the video please leave a like ring down below and you share to your Facebook Twitter and or my specific video. would you like that always great
greatly appreciate it. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe for the best of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare content. Any new news and information, you guys know exactly where to find it, right here up on my channel. So, thank you guys once again so much for watching. My name is Vinicola Espresso. As always, if you guys are having a great day, I shall see you guys tomorrow. Take care and peace.